Hi everyone, it's me, the Blue Ranger, aka Billy here, and today I'm making this video from me Keysport on our YouTube channel, Power Rangers Red. Now, you probably are surprised why I'm in a smaller form of myself. Well, I just came from the American Thrift Center. There was some tape on my foot for some reason. Anyway, Billy says, the first thing I want to talk about today is the... Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, and about how some people out there don't really know why the movie was completely different from the series. Now, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, was air actually was filmed over in Australia, not the United States. A lot of the um, for a lot of the uh, movie itself came from Sydney, Australia. Also, Australia had a uh, had a a part of Australia was set up, an old colony. Uh, the Australia was set up as how it was when it was a European Englander colony. And since the movie ran over, Rangers Back in Time Part One, Part the Return of the Green Ranger Part One, Part Two, and Part Three, I believe, was filmed over there as well. Now, the movie had a very higher budget than the series. Han Siobhan and his partner at the time, Shy Sky, I believe his name, and some other women were the executive producers. News Corporation's 20th Century Fox Motion Picture Production Division and Siobhan Entertainment were involved in making the movie. Now, there is a lot of things that set the movie different, like morphing sequences, um family, friends, and allies, for example. Um, the movie takes enemies, too. The movie takes place outside of the timeline of the series. But I like to say that Mighty Morphin Power the movie You Ooze, You Lose, that would have been the episode title if it was the episode, would have taken place between Power Rangers episode, Blue Ranger Gone Bad, but before Friends in Need Part 1 of the third season. And that's, um, and in, for example, in the movie, we go to Helios, Helios, a Pelios, I believe, to meet Dulcia, the master warrior Pelios, who apparently at one point was the first power, was one of the original Power Rangers, with Zordon and Demetria and a couple other people who were responsible for stealing away Ivan Ooze. The only villain to have a movie origin, but nowhere does he is, but in the series, he's not mentioned at all. Um, see, but in the series, it was Ninjor who originally made the first power coins that Zordon would eventually find. And when Zordon would be trapped in a space and a time warp by Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa, would have Alpha 5 use and giving to the Power Rangers when he, when we were corroded, corroded, I mean, cor corroded. Um, but regardless of the timeline, the movie being paradox, either Dulcia giving the ninja powers or ninja giving and the ninja powers, the the mega the uh the Shogun Megazord, the Falcon Megazord, and also the Ninja Megazords. Look a little different from their live acts and their from their motion live action counterparts. Also, for example, Lord Zen Rita Repulsa look very different from their live action counterparts. So does Goldar. Norton, the only was Goldar's cousin and does not make any appearances in the series. And the Tengu Warriors. And even though the Tengu Warriors do eventually go to the series. They were called Tango Warriors because at the time the 20th Century Fox Motion Picture Division of News Corporation's Fox Broadcast Company Division, uh, division owned the rights to Tango, to Tango Warriors. And at the time, Siobhan Entertainment did not own the right to Mighty Morphin Tinders the movie. So Siobhan would have been sued for copyright and freshman if they would have called them the Tango Warriors. Now, a lot of people ask me about one thing about the movie. Um, is the movie ever going to be re-released? Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, was released 
um, originally on VHS. It originally did get a DVD transfer. You could also get Monty Morphin Pinders the Movie separately on DVD or Blu-ray. Or you could get Monty Morphin Pinders the Movie with also Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. Now that movie we will also talk about in the future. Um, if we, I believe, we, I believe uh, in the future we'll discuss that second film. And that's about it. Many people also ask questions about how come Ivan Ooze was in the movie but he wasn't in the series. Now from my understanding was the movie apparently took place outside of the timeline of the series. And Ivan Ooze apparently was the only villain that only never made an appearance in the Monty Morphin Power Rangers first, second, or third season. Not even Monty Morphin Alien Rangers, the miniseries that was considered the last part of the third series season. Um, Dulcia never really made any appearances in the series. She was the only character to have come who who uh, they only been in the, the movie, but not the series. Ninjor takes the place of Dulcia in the series, though, and Rita Roboto, Rita Roboto, um, Rita Repulsa's brother, takes the place of Ivan Ooze in the series, um, or at least. Now, that's it for me. I don't really know exactly why Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie was different than Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the series. I don't know why it was shot in New Zealand and not in the United States. I don't know why some of the family, friends, and allies and the, and, and the villains and the Zords were, looked different. I really do not know why that the music was different. Yeah, the Monty Morphin Power Rangers theme was completely different from the Monty Morphin Power Rangers theme from the series. Now, I've known that some people have reviewed the movie. I know the Astounder Critic reviewed it at one point on his website, That Guy of the Glasses. And I know that somewhere down the road, somebody will talk about the movie. So, let me know if you've seen Monty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Um, by the way, it's also streamable on Netflix for anyone who has Netflix. Probably streamable on Blockbuster Online. Epics, I don't really know if it is or not. Maybe it's on Hulu Plus or Amazon Prime. You could find it for rent, probably some on either on Netflix or Blockbuster Online. Um, could come across it in stores, probably in a DVD combo with Pal Turbo Power Rangers movie, or just by itself. That's it. I'm the Blue Ranger, aka Billy. I'll see you later.